Hello and welcome back to Chris the Butcher and Friends. I ain't going, this don't feel right tonight. Oh. oh, that's better. Should we try that again? Hello and welcome back to Chris the Butcher and Friends. And tonight, I'm going to be doing probably one of my most favourite meals. This is a meal that I would probably have as my last meal on death row. Because if I lived in America, then the chances are that's where I'd fucking end up. Right? It's ribeye steak with creamy buttery mash and mushroom and onion gravy. This is the main star of the attraction tonight, and that is a fabulous, fabulous 21 day aged ribeye steak. Now, these aren't cheap. This, for me, was free because that's the perks of my job. But one of these will probably set you back round about four and a half quid, right? Because this is round about nine to ten ounces. So, the first thing a bit of oil, a bit of oil, a bit of oil. You bit your oil. Get the oil in. Because I'm going to oil the steak, not the pan. Then, we're going to hit it with some coarse sea salt. Like salt bear, you know. It's snowing. It's nearly that time of year. Get it all up. Bollocks to it. Let's get some crust. And then, some cracked black pepper. So there we have. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to repeat the process. And then we're going to slide it straight in my screaming hot frying pan. Let's get this ribeye in this pan. Trust me, you can't see it smoking. And there's a reason why I'm using my frying pan. Because I want to use the juices. Anything that comes off this steak for the gravy. Gently. There we go. Now, I'm just going to let that sit there. I'm not going to move it or nothing. For about five minutes each side, because it's quite thick. And then I'm going to rest it for a good, good while. So, anyway, what I'm saying is, in about five minutes, we'll come back and we'll see the turn. So we can see the crust of the steak. Not like I've not done this shit before, is it? That has been five minutes, so we're going to go with the turn. Holy shit. That looks mighty fucking fine. I said we're not moving it, but I want it to centre at pan. So, we're going to give that another five minutes, and then we'll rest it. My brothers and sisters, this steak is coming out. So, there it is on my plate. I'm going to fuck off over here. And we're going to throw our onions and our gravy shit in that. And it's time to make our gravy. I have added a little bit of extra oil in there because it was kind of bone dry. Onions. In. Now, I've got my oven, my hob, on full power. Now, I'm going to leave it like that just for a second. I just want to get these onions a little bit soft before I go in with the mushies. Now, that's enough for them. So, we're going in with our 
mushies. I bought some flat mushrooms. They're fucking massive. Look at the size of that bastard. If I threw that up in air, Batman would turn up. I don't know where that come from. So we're going to sweat these down a little bit. So that, you know, obviously, mushrooms reduce in size astronomically. So we'll do that, and then we will be back. Right, as you can see. Right, as you can see, then mushrooms have reduced considerably. So now I'm going to go in with a tablespoon of flour. That is it. That was quite conserved for me. I normally stick a digger load in by accident because I've got the touch of a baby fucking elephant. So we're going to pick that up all and get it all incorporated. And then we're going to go in with our beef stock. Now, it's time for the beef stock, which it is in a big ass pan. I don't need that much. I don't think. But I made this out of bovril. Who doesn't love bovril, right? That'll probably do it. Give it a good stir. That flour will thicken that up nicely. Get this up to a boil, then I'm going to turn it down to a simmer. And probably simmer it for about five minutes. And in the meantime, over here, you can't see, I've already peeled, I've already chopped, and I've got the spuds boiling. Because you don't need to see that. How many times? Who doesn't know how to fucking peel, chop, and boil a fucking potato? Obviously, actually, I've found out a fucking lot of people. But uh, you guys aren't one of them. The steak is done. The onion and mushroom gravy is done. It's time for the mash. Big knob of butter. Get that in there. That is gonna that is gonna melt in no time because them spuds are fucking screaming out. Also, a bit of double cream. And if you don't think that's enough to give us a heart attack, we're gonna go in with a good helping of Grated cheese. Cream it and mellow, apparently, it says. It's a Pilgrim's Choice cheese. No, you forgot to shut the door. So, we've got an audience. Connor's going now. He's just impatient. He wants his tea. Now, I'm going to put a bit more cream in this, because normally you put, you put a, uh, milk in it. But I'm not putting milk and cream in it. I'll tell you what I'll do actually, I'll put a bit more cream in it. There you go, you can't have too much cream in it, can you? And I will stay here now for the next 10 minutes, making sure this is creamy, creamy a smash. So obviously, it's time for the dish out. There's our steak, our ribeye. Yeah, the juice is on there off the plate. Be rude not to, will it? Then we're going to go in with our creamy, buttery, creamy, creamy, buttery, cheesy mash. There's one splodge. There's two splodges. Let's listen. I'm, it's not playing a game. I put cheese in it. It's like fucking elastic. But hey, we don't mind, do we? And... <laughs> This is me trying to get this 4K mash off the spoon. Anyway, we're going to go now on top of that with our mushroom and onion gravy. we mash still on the fucking spoon. Oh, that on there. Get some. Oh, there, yeah. There we are. And a bit over the steak. And ladies and gentlemen, that is my plate of offering for tonight. Uh, it doesn't look great, does it? I'd put some green shit with it, but I'm sick of eating green shit. Anyway, I'll tart it up, take a thumbnail, and I'll slide it down me fucking gizzard. So we're sliding this down me gizzard. What should we go for first? The mash. I love mash meat. I love it. Mm, well, gravy it on. Oh, my God. 
You got you got to have a gravy with massive amounts of fucking huge fucking fungi in, aren't you? Mm. Let's get a good lump of this steak and have a look at it. Because you know that steak is going to be fucking orgasmic as well. Yeah. Oh. Oh, the chair melting in your mouth. Absolutely. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Like I said, like I said, brothers and sisters. This is the meal I'll be eating. For my last meal on death row. There's no doubt in my mind. At some point, I will fucking be there. That is mad fucking fat. So that was my ribeye steak with creamy, buttery, cheesy mash. <laughs> with onions and mushroom gravy. Now that is my favourite meal of all time. I have got it down here. I did the taste test as you, as you saw. I will finish it off later. After I've had about 17 more of these. Fucking bad boys. Oh. Cheers. So basically that's it. So if you like it, press like. Yeah, that's it. That fucking big thumb. That sticks up there. Oh, big fun down now, now, you're just fucking it. Comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. And become a family member of hashtag Team CTB, where I fucking love you.